listen to that noise, that's fantastic. That's for you. What a fantastic performance tonight. Yeah, I feared the worst when we went 1-0 down early doors, but um, credit to the lads, I thought we stuck at it. Obviously, the sending off helps, but even with 10 men, Man City are a threat, so I thought we did really well. And I don't think we would have came here, uh, did the comeback without the fans here, so it's massive. And should we say a couple of unusual goal scorers in that second yeah. half? <laughs> yeah, no, I think... Uh, I've been waiting a long time for a Premier League goal. Uh, everything keeps happening with VAR and cancelling them out. So I thought that one was offside as well, to be honest. I'm just glad to get, get over the line and get my first one. I think that was your first goal in three years, was it, Wigan? Three years, yeah. Yeah, counting the days. I thought I was cursed at times, but hey, I got the goal. Well, you timed it perfectly tonight. To beat the champions, what does that mean? Huge. City are the best team in the world. I think they've proven that over the years. Um, so we knew it was going to be a tough test. To set up, I would have really well recovered from 1 0 down. I haven't done it a lot of times this season. So. You, you didn't give up, give up you, you kept going. No, exactly. I think we conceded two poor goals from our point of view, but um, as I said, I thought we were brilliant. Uh, stuck at it, controlled the game for large parts, which you'd expect we to, but no, I thought the lads were brilliant. And a lovely treat for all the supporters in here tonight. Yeah, good. We need to get them behind her. We've missed them. It's, it's been strange playing without the fans. I'm just buzzing to have them back. Now, I've, I've, I remember what supporters are like when they're in the ground. Exactly. Good year after that, but well done. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers thanks very much.